Well, you have heard many times people say, hey, even myself, Sri Lanka's problems are solvable. But why are we suffering? Your monthly salary doesn't even last for more than 10 days. Expenses are skyrocketing and it has been absolutely nightmarish for most of us living in this island. However, the thousand talks given by the so-called big shots, economic think tanks, proctors, doctors, professors, politicians and whatnot in Colombo in solving the issues of Sri Lanka seems to be a bit laughable. Why? All they do is tell you how they can fix your life, but history dictates that all they do is paint a fairy tale for you, get the power and live a luxurious life for themselves. Right now the issue with our economy is that Sri Lanka doesn't have dollars, not rupees, dollars. So to get dollars, there are only very limited methods. One, sell our goods to the world and get the dollars, aka change this country into an industrialized economy. The other most popular and sought after action by our politicians is to borrow. Even right now, we continue to borrow more to fix an economy broken by heavy borrowing by those very same politicians who caused the problem. Do you really see an effort by this government to create more jobs, create more opportunities, push the SME sector, give more power to the working class and create an environment that's investor friendly? Do you see that happening, honestly? But you hear those thousand talks, don't you? We become a nation of talkers. We just talk, 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 talk and talk some more. We tell people we are this, we are that, we believe in this, we are this type of people, these are our values and ethics and all the nonsense under the sun. But when it comes to the action, well, our action shows the real us. Today we need to change that if we are to move forward towards success as a nation. Today we need to stop talking and start acting. We need to tell our leaders enough talk, get to work. Listen to the chairwoman of uh, Ceylon United Business Alliance, Tanya Abesundra, who explained clearly with the reality with our leaders. Watch. When you have, when you have a salary of 80,000 rupees, when you are paying electricity bill about 20,000, <laughs> water bill about 3,000, and uh, the rest works out to about 50, 60,000. So you have about 30,000 left for your food. So where is the money for extra expenditure? So this niche market, this economical growth is only in Colombo. And mind you, this lavish life is led by people who are making these decisions. Cut government expenditure, what is 51% of the country's GDP? Cut that off. Start cutting from the top, not from the bottom. Don't cut the root. Cut a branch off. <laughs> if you cut the road, the uh, tree will die off. If you cut the SMV, the country will die off. Every day I talk to and meet many people from various walks of life in, in my capacity as a talk show host. They tell me so much of things and they continue to tell me about what kind of people they are. They talk a big game, but as a principle in life, I determine the real person by simply looking at their actions because most of the time their actions reveal the truth and their talk simply becomes another lie. Perhaps a quality we all as citizens need to develop as we head to another election cycle in 2024. We'll be right back.